Hey, it's Joseph here. A few project snapshots sent to your client or the colleagues do not clearly explain your design ideas. So I often present my work by having 3D model live on the screen. Being able to navigate in real time and showing a little bit of motion is always helpful when you're trying to demonstrate the spatial quality and the general mood of the space. With Enscape, I don't have to be there all the time trying to set up the model and navigate for them. They can just double click to open these executables and navigate themselves. It is really easy to make one, just run SketchUp. Once it's loaded, just click on the Start Enscape button. And once the model is loaded, go back and click on this button that says EXE Export. Although it is very simple to make, there's a lot more on this feature, so let me show you. After a brief moment, you should get a message that says the export has succeeded, you OK, and then you can look for the exe file, which is located right here. And this executable file can be opened on other machines that does not have modeling software or even Enscape. So it allows you to send this file to your client or colleagues for easy evaluation. Because this single file contains your entire model as well as the settings that you have assigned and the favorite views that you have saved up, it is very important to make sure everything is tidy at the point of the export. Since we have saved up this file, let's open and see what it does. So find your file and double click it. And after the loading screen, it should pop up like this. I'm just going to maximize this. And you'll notice there's a transparent tab on the left as well as one on the right. And if you wanna keep this tab open, then you can just press on this button to pin this. So on this menu, there's limited amount of features that is available. However, it is enough to show your model. If we look at the top, there's a virtual reality function and you can toggle that on and Enscape will automatically search for your headset and turn that on. So in my case, I had the headset that is connected. So if you move the headset, the view will actually actually follow as well. And this only applies to the people who have purchased the headset as well as properly set up in terms of softwares. And if you have already set up everything, then we can just toggle on to see everything in VR. So I can just leave the virtual reality function off for now. And once you turn on the light view, you will be in light analysis mode where you are able to just kind of gauge amount of lux value that's within your scene. And you can also control the rendering quality by putting this to medium or even to draft if you notice that your machine is being sluggish or a bit too laggy. However, you can put it up to ultra if your machine is handling just fine. In my case, I usually leave it at high. And if you're unsure about hardware requirement, you can go to Enscape website. I left a link in the description for their system requirement guide. Another setting of the executable is white mode, which you can turn it on to get rid of most of materiality within the scene. And this mode will be useful for conceptual stage where you're trying to not worry about all the materials. However, just trying to gauge the scale and the form of the space. I prefer this value to be somewhere between 20 and 30 because the foreground objects will have better definition with slight outline. If you don't have any, notice how that is fading out to gray. So if you have a little bit of definition, then it will help you to understand the shape. However, if you have it too dark, notice how some complex objects could fade into complete black. And it is also true in non-white mode as well. So if you change it to somewhere between 20 to 30, you can still see the colors of the complex object. And if you're looking for on-screen help, you can just hit H key on your keyboard and on-screen help will pop up. And then it will show you the same thing that you saw on normal Enscape, except the video editor feature. And we can also move on to the right tab here, which was slightly transparent tab as well, to find all the favorite views that you have saved up. So I can click on this to switch between scenes. And in addition to just clicking these views, you can also press page up or down to switch in between scenes. 
By the way, if you're sending this file away or for your presentation, you can brand your company on the customization settings on Enscape. On the normal modeler, you can find the settings button here and then go to customization. And you can find these four features here. Loading screen, you can press on this button here and locate your image. And your image is going to be like a cover page of your project. So you can use hand sketches or a concept diagram. And in my case, I'm just gonna use a final render that I have done for this specific project. So click on that and assign open. And for user interface overlay, I can also locate my logo. So my logo will show up bottom right hand corner. However, if I want to move it, I can click on this or to the center by clicking here. In my case, I'm just going to leave it at bottom right hand corner. And if I go back to the Enscape screen, you'll notice that my logo has been placed there. So notice how I can move it wherever I click on. And also you can change the window icon of Enscape. However, it needs to be icon files, ICO. So what you will need to do is make a square JPEG. In my case, I have this image here, which is sort of the crop version of my rendering. So I'll leave the link in the description. However, you can just find this by just Googling the JPG to icon file converter. And once you go back to Enscape settings, you can click on this button here and locate that ICO file that you have just downloaded, open, and then this image will be applied to the thumbnail of your Enscape, and which will also become the Windows icon, which I'll show you in a second. And you can also click on this to include a caption. In my case, I have said pavilion because I want my Enscape to just say pavilion. However, you can say something else of your company name if you need to, and they'll just respond there. And let me just leave it as pavilion. And once you have done that, you can just click on this button again to export, Enscape Pavilion, save yes. And after a success message pops up, you can minimize to confirm that your EXE file indeed has that thumbnail. So let me just double click this file here to open up and you'll see my thumbnail here as well as the loading screen that's going on right now and it'll snap back into this where I can just move around and then let me cover somewhat hidden feature that is available. So instead of what's mentioned here, right mouse button and a shift key to move time of the day, you can also click on either U or I key of your keyboard to change and shift time of the day within your model. It shows a different vibe and the mood of your specific project. And if this is not enough to do the trick for your project, then you can hold down control key and press U or I button, and then you'll be able to actually rotate the sun as well. So you can see how it is just rotating the sun as opposed to changing time of the day. And you can also press M button to show the map. And there's gonna be this little handle that you can click on to drag and make the map slightly larger. And you can click on the map to move on to specific position. So this is useful, especially when you're trying to see the interior and you're not sure where you are exactly. So let me decrease the map size for now. And if you find yourself struggling with navigating around your model with keyboard and a mouse, then you can use Xbox controller or 3D mouse in my case to navigate around your model slightly easier. Although I have primarily used this feature to send out the model to my client, there's gonna be other reasons why you wanna use this standalone feature. You can share amongst your colleagues to do a quick evaluation or you can save it as a backup file in case when you're flying out somewhere, internet is not as available and you're failing to check out your license for your modeler. And then you can use this standalone file to show your model or just as an archival process as well. So if you have your own neat usage of this standalone feature, please leave it in the comments so let me know. And if you have enjoyed this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you wanna continue watching this type of videos. And thank you for watching, bye.